Okay, so let's create a, a function now with the code that we've uh, uh, created. So let's call our function get availability for date. We pass in as parameter query date. Query date will be a date that we're going to pass in and then we're going to convert it into a string. And this string will be used to set the date in a calendar using the date picker. So we can copy and paste this code here. And we don't have to use the current date. We just have to use query date str. OK. We need to make sure we pass in the tab. So now this will allow me to change the date to any date I select. And then once I select the date and I focus out, I can extract the data into a Panda data frame. Okay. So I'm creating the rows for the data frame, make sure I need to also copy in the empty list. It's already there, okay. And now at the end, I need to create the, the panda data frame. Now we use this code here. And then we return it. Okay, so this is roughly our method. Let's just test it. So I'm going to run this just to, okay, there I have an error there. It's, it's probably I didn't close brackets somewhere. Okay, try again. Yeah, so the method is now uh, there and I can try the, let's just give you a go and see, for example, get availability for today. For date. And we can give it uh, date dot today. So that works fine. It gets me the current day. Now I'm going to try some other dates. For example, let's try tomorrow. So for tomorrow, we can do date.today plus date time dot time delta day is equal to one, yeah? I think I missed something, a bracket. Okay, so now we can see the availability for tomorrow. But it didn't quite work, right? Let me try again. Today's so 
Yeah, for today. The date is wrong. Yeah, something is not working quite as expected. Let's try and add some delay. So I'm going to do time dot sleep, maybe three seconds. So let's import time. And let's see if that is a bit better. So today is fine. Tomorrow and two days later, it's still saying 26. It's a bit strange. I think it's getting the wrong variable. That's why um, I need to check here because I did a copy and paste of the method, but maybe I'm not even using it. So where is this date coming from? Quit. Seems okay, right? Oh, where is it? I'm not even initializing rows. So I, I mean, I didn't copy everything. Rows needs to take in a value. So, so rows is now being initialized and hopefully this will work. Okay, for, for two days later, it should have plenty of uh, availability. It's still not there. Okay. Okay, I need to initialize soup as well. So soup. Yeah, I need to copy this line here as well. Okay, so I'm getting, so every time I change the date, this the HTML is going to change and I'm going to refresh my HTML source. So I'm going to initialize soup again with the, the current HTML. And that should give me the latest availability. You can see here, it's getting better. Proper results now. Now we have, now we have a, a proper table, okay? So we have all the availability for eRef and the times. Okay, so the next stage the next stage, now that we have a method that actually can take a date and um, now that we have a method that can take a date and it can return a list of results for that date, now we should be able to also uh, do some filtering to make sure that we get um, only the results we want. So let's try and do some filtering based on availability, right? Because we don't want to see any any slots that are um, fully booked, right? It's a waste of time. So we only want to see slots that are available. Okay, so we have a panda data frame being returned by this method. I'm going to call it again. Example is equal to two. Okay. And we can see the
Okay, we can see the, the list of results. Okay, so to search, to filter this based on availability, I can simply do, I can simply filter out anything that's fully booked. So I can do something like this. So data frame. And I can pass in availability. No. Data frame. So data frame. And data frame again. And I'll pick the availability column, which is what we are going to filter on. And then on this availability column, I'm going to do a query. And I'm going to check for any availability which is not full. Yeah, simple query gives me the results I want. Okay. And this should give me everything but anything that's fully booked. Okay, you can see now we don't have anything that's fully booked. Okay. Right, this is nice to be able to do this, um, but we can be a bit more uh, sophisticated than that. So I would suggest that maybe we have a larger group, right? Um, a course for badminton normally uh, is enough for four players. Uh, let's say we have eight players, so we want two courts. So we need to also use the number of slots here. So we don't just want to check if there's any court available. We want to check if at the same hour, for example, there are at least one, uh, two courts available, for example. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have to do a query based on uh, an integer. So my idea is I'm going to filter out, well, I'm going to do a, a, search, a search and replace. I'm going to do a search and replace, so full will become like a zero. And then uh, the other uh, three slots are going to become three, four slots are going to become four, and so on. And this way, by having an integer here, I'll be able to just do a, a query to check, for example, if uh, the the slot has two or three more, two or more chords, for example. So if a given time is free, then I'll, I'll be able to ch check on how many slots are available. Okay, to convert the column, we can easily do that by just, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay. And I'm going to do a dot str it's casting it to a string because we know it's a string and we're going to do a replace. Okay. And I'm going to replace slots. I'm going to add an empty space, right? And I'm going to replace that with an empty string. So as simple as that. So instead of having four slots, I have four. Then I have here a string uh, full, which I don't want, but no problem. It's easy to fix that. I can do dot replace and I can do full with, for example, a zero. Okay. So now I only have, I only have um, numbers. Okay, but if I check this column, it's still, well, here it already says, right? This column is still an object. What I want to do, I want to convert it to an integer. So an easy way to do that is just to call. Okay, let's just make sure that, you know, all I've done here is not permanent. So I need to make sure first I make it permanent. So I'm going to replace this column with the result of of this column. So this is going to be a new column, but without the, you know, n slots. And that will become, so I need to run it. Okay. And then if I just show you the table now, 
it's uh, it's looking better, right? It only has numbers here, digits. And then if I show you the schema, you can check the schema of the table by just doing dataframe.info. And you'll see that everything is still an object, okay? Object means that this column has uh, mixed data types. That's what Pandas uses. Um, so it's it's a bit tricky to do anything with this because uh, by definition, object doesn't know what it has inside. But we can easily fix that. For the availability, since we already know this is definitely going to be numbers, this column, I can just do df availability okay s int no s s type int okay let's just run this before we do anything with it and you can see it's still the same uh it has it still has the same numbers but now the data type is int which means i can do a query on this for instance but let's make it permanent first of all so I'm going to copy the same way I've replaced the column before. I can just do this. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Right. So now I've replaced the column. And if I do df again, and then df.info, you can see the schema is a bit better now, which means, so now we have an int, and now I can do a query based on the number of slots. So in this case, I can do df availability bigger than three. But of course I need to make sure that this has to go inside. So this is doing a query on the data frame and it's checking for any item where the availability is bigger than three. Okay, you can see here only slots which have more than three, three slots. So if I want, if I had a huge group then, and I wanted to book the whole, basically the whole, uh, the whole sports hall, um, then it would be four courts, 16 people. This is how I would uh, check if it's available or not. And I can see that actually in two days time, there's not much booked at all. Yeah. So I can easily book all these slots. Nobody's there. Okay. So now. Now this is good. I already have a way to filter out based on the number of courts. Another thing I probably want to do is also filtering out on by time. Okay. Filtering out by time is quite important. So, but as you can see here, we have two columns for one is the date and one is the time. What I probably want to do is to convert this to a, a single column. And I can uh, merge together the date and the time. 